People of the Purple Butterfly here. Otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube. People are elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at Purple Butterfly dash people dot black spot dot com and purple butterfly shows can be located at people dot etsy dot com and I'm trying a little bit of something new instead of the liners that go with the uh two pound loaf I actually set up the four pound loaf and then I remembered I was making a two pound soap. <laughs> so instead of adding more stuff to the batch that was already being made, I just went on ahead and set up the you know, two pound loaf. Except for without the hold on. It doesn't have the liners in it. So what I did instead is I took a little hint from um, Debbie Thomas where she's talking about um, um, where you take and put the sorry sometimes I have a total blank on my thought pattern but okay every now and then when you use freezer paper instead of lining it folding it so forth so on you take one and line across, then you take the other and line going under, and you get this. See this? This is actually loose. Yeah. So, let me put it where I can see so that way I know you can see. But that's actually loose. And then I got it put in there in a way where when the soap is taken up, it all comes up and stays put on the bottom. And over here, I have colors added. Yay. I got coral reef blue in there. I got some yellow, some gold, some um, orange. And what I'm going to do, because I actually have it on off now, I'm waiting for it to cool down to 189, and then I'm putting some peach scent in there. And... The moment I put the peach scent in, because I'm going to go around the bottom so that way it gets under the soap. The moment I get the peach scent in, I'm going to stir it in, slap it into the mold. So that way the blue, the gold, the curl, the orange, all of that becomes a kind of a swirly thing. This has never been done before by me anyway. So hopefully it'll come out well. If not... I'll be fixing it up, but it's all yellow, well, true yellow, neon orange, 14 karat gold, and then as a pop of color, I added coral reef blue. I'm going to avoid mixing the blue until the last minute because that is a very, very strong color, and I don't want to overpower it, and I certainly don't want to muddy it up. So, when that's all said and done, we'll see how this comes out. And it's going to smell like peach perfection. All I know is very strong, very pronounced peach scent. It's like you take peaches, cut it up, put it in a bowl, and before you eat it, the smell that hits your nose will smell exactly like that soap. It's called peach perfection. I love it. Anyway, uh, hold on. I have some new glasses. They're red with um, lace on the side. Put them down right here, and it's like went to the hospital directly after that, and I haven't seen the glasses since. So I'm back to my bright red roots. <laughs> So, at least I have options. Mm, okay, that smells like pure soap now, and it's looking kind of Vaseline-y. So, I'm thinking at this point, it's almost ready to go. But I am going to take and see what my um, thermometer is at right now. And if it's at the right temperature, then the next time you see me, 
I'll be showing you the new show. So, y'all, yeah, stay blessed, stay tuned. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye, now. Purple Butterfly Soaps, people, that Etsy.